the beginning of this week's parsha, we have a command about observing Shabbat, and right afterwards it continues with commands about the construction of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, the portable temple that the Jews had with them in the desert. And we learn from these two chapters, these two aspects being one after the other, that the things that we cannot do on the Shabbat are those things that were done in constructing the tabernacle. Whatever they did to build the Mishkan, we cannot do on Shabbat. But if you look back a few chapters ago, in Perak Laman Alpha, chapter 31, the same thing happened. First there, it mentioned building the tabernacle, and then it mentions observing Shabbat. And there also, we learn the exact same thing. Why does this lesson have to be taught twice? Teaching us that that which you do to build the Mishkan is what you cannot do on Shabbat. I once heard a beautiful explanation that these, this aspect is repeated twice to teach us fundamental aspect of Shabbat. And that is the following. Shabbat has the element of rest. You work very hard during the week, and then you rest on Shabbat. That is captured a few chapters ago when first it mentions the Mishkan, and then it says rest on Shabbat. Work really hard, and then you deserve a rest. But there's another element to Shabbat, and that's captured in this week's Parsha. In this week's Parsha, first it mentions Shabbat, and then it mentions building the Mishkan. Shabbat is also supposed to be a day in which we build ourselves up spiritually, and that enables us to do much better during work the rest of the week. It's not just resting from the previous week, but it's injecting us with spirituality in order to be spiritual and focused on God during the upcoming week. As we read this week's Parsha and we see Shabbat mentioned and then the construction of the Mishkan, let's remember that second element of Shabbat. We're all probably very good at the resting concept resting and napping and taking a break on Shabbat from the busy week. But let's also use Shabbat to build ourselves up spiritually, to make sure that we're spiritually strong in the rest of the week as well. Wishing everyone a Shabbat Shalom.